Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr. Hegarty here and we're doing a second video on linear programming for the Decision Maths A-Level module. Now this video is another skills video. I just want to make you practice the skills you're going to need to answer these questions. So what I'd like us to be able to do is find where straight lines intersect, find the points where they intersect, which uh, translates to, in this sort of topic, finding the vertices of a region R defined by inequalities. Okay, so um, I want to go through uh, what I mean actually by this. So imagine, like in the first video, I gave you that set of inequalities and you drew the region R. I've already done that part for you. But you now should be able to do that type of problem. Now in an exam, the graph will be given for you so you just have to fill it in. You don't have to draw it from scratch yourself. So these set of inequalities here, they translate to this feasible region here. Okay, so this region is the region in which um, those inequalities are all hold. Now, when we're doing these questions, it's going to turn out important to find the vertices, which I'm which I might call A, B, C, and D. So A, B, C, D are the vertices of R. Now it's going to turn out important that we need to be able to find those, okay? So I want us to practice finding those. Now, clearly it's about solving uh, simultaneous equations, okay? So at A, what do we have to solve? So at A, what two uh, equations should we solve together? Well, we should solve the equation y is x, this one here, okay? With 3x plus 5y is 60, so 3x plus 5y is equal to 60. If we solve those two simultaneous equations, we get the x and y coordinate that match that. What about b? What two equations do we need to solve? Well, we need to solve y is equal to x, the first one, where, where x is equal to 13, this one here. Okay, what about for c? Well, we'd clearly solve, and uh, this one meets that one, so where x is 13, meets y is equal to 5, those ones. And for d here, we would solve 3x plus 5y is equal to 60, where this line meets y is equal to 5. Now, the uh, we want to quickly be able to find those points. Now, some of them you can find extremely quickly. Some of them you have to solve by simultaneous equations. I also want you to show you how to do this on the calculator. So, what we're going to do is, let's go for the easy ones first. Now, B, look at B. Here, where y equals x meets x is 13. So, when x is 13, at this point here, y will clearly be 13. So, at B, the coordinates are clearly 13, 13. That's easy. What about C? Another absolutely easy one. Where x is 13 meets y is 5. So, it's the coordinates 13 with 5. Now, A and D are slightly harder. They need to be solved by simultaneous equations. So for, for A, we're solving where Y is equal to X, and we're solving uh, 3X plus 5Y is equal to 60. We're solving those two simultaneous equations. And for um, D, what are we solving? Well, we're solving 3X plus 5Y is equal to 60, and we're solving Y equals 5. Okay? Now... Um, we can solve those uh, simultaneously, so we can call that 1 and 2, and we can sub 1 in 2, and we would get, if we subbed uh, in there for, um, let's say, x is y, we would get 3y plus uh, 5y, which is 8y, is equal to 60, so that would tell us that y is going to equal 60 over 8, which is equal to 30 over 4 which is equal to 15 over 2, which is 7.5. So this point here is 7.5, and uh, we can sub it back in the first one to get x is also 15 over 2. So here, a is the coordinates, and we'll leave it as fractions, 15 over 2, 15 over 2. And let's look here, that looks like 7.5 and 7.5. And lastly, with these two ones, 1 and 2, we can put y as 5 in here, and we would say, so sub 2 in 1, and we would get ourselves that 3x plus 25 is equal to 60. So therefore, 3x must be 60, um, subtract 25, 
which is going to be equal to um, 35. So x is therefore 35 over 3, and y is equal to 5. We knew that already from here. So we would have 35 over 3 and 5 for coordinates d. Does that look right? 35 over 3, uh, yeah, that's a, just a bit, a slightly more than 11, and it's with y is 5. That's right. Okay, so that's how you would do that. Now, I just want to quickly show you a, a, a maybe a slightly easier way with your calculator. So, imagine I rubbed out all that, but let me just keep the final answer, so I know that's the final answer, and let me rub out that and all the substitution, and let's keep the final answer. You can also use your calculator. Now, your calculator can solve simultaneous equations in the following form. Let me show you. If you do shift on uh, mode, on this calculator, it has to be an FX991ES. So if you have an FX991ES, you press um, mode equation. And as long as it's of the form AX plus BY is a number, it can solve them. So as long as it's of the form AX plus BY is a number, you can solve them. Now this one's already in that form. 3X plus 5Y is equal to 60. And we could make this one in this form. So what we could do is we could subtract y from both sides. So you have x subtract y is equal to 0. Get the calculator out. Watch this. The first equation. 3 no, uh, x's, 5 y's is equal to 60. And then you could say 1x subtract 1 or negative 1 y is equal to 0. And you leave 0. Press equals 15 over 2 for x, 15 over 2 for y. It's a great check method at, at worst, and you can use it to help you do things quicker in the exam. So let's have a go at this one. Now this one here, we've got it in the form uh, 3x plus 5y is equal to 60. And it's not quite in that form there, but we could write that as 0x plus 1y is equal to 5. So calculator up again, and we'd go mode equation number 1, and we'd say 3, 5, 60 with 0, 0, 1, and 5, 35 over 3, and 5, done. So it's a fantastic check method for you in the exam. Right, let's try another one. Okay, so here's example 2. We're asked to draw the feasible region here. We've, did, we've done that uh, a, long, a lot of times in video 1, and it turns out it looks something like this. Now I've told you when solving these problems um, and I haven't introduced what type of problem it is but these vertices of the feasible region are going to be extremely important. Okay so we want to find those. So for A the two equations we're solving we're solving 3x plus y is equal to 12 and that's uh, y uh, equals 2x with that one. For B we're solving 6x plus 5y is equal to 120, and that's crossing y equals 2x. For C, um, we're crossing uh, 3y equaling x with um, 6x plus 5y is equal to 120. And for D, what are we doing? D is going to be 3y is equal to x with 3x plus y is equal to 12. Now, we can solve those with simultaneous equations, absolutely, but we could also use the calculator. So let's have a go at using the calculator. We want it of the form ax plus by equals c for each of the equations. The number of x's first plus the number of y's equals a number. So here, this is fine. I want the x's first, so I'm going to write that as 2x subtract y is equal to 0. So I've converted that into that form. This one's fine, 6x plus 5y is equal to 120. This one, I could write that as 2x subtract y equals 0. This one here, now this one's fine, 6x plus 5y equals 120. Now this one here would be x subtract 3y equals 0. Similarly here, x subtract 3y equals 0. And this one would be 3x add y is equal to 12. So, calculator out, mode, equation. Let's do each one. Number 1. So 3, 1 and 12. So 3, 1, 12 goes with 2, negative 1, 0. So 2, negative 1, 0. 
and that gives me x is 12 over 5 and y is 24 over 5. So x is 12 over 5 and y is 24 over 5. Let's just check that seems reasonable. 12 over 5 is like 2.4, which looks right here, and 24 over 5 is like 4.8, which again seems reasonable. Okay, calculator again. And we just press equal one more time. Now we can change it. So that's 6x, 5y, 120 with um, 2x, so 2x, negative 1y, so keep that 0. I'm just go back there. Uh, yeah, so we get 15 over 2 and 15. So we get, um, here we get x 15 over 2 with y being 15. Does that look right for b? Well, y is 15 certainly looks right, and 15 over 2 is about 7.5. That looks right too. Okay, again, calculator out for the next one. So we press equals. We want 1, negative 3, and 0. So 1, negative 3, 0. And we want to match that with 6, 5, and 120. 6, 5, 120. And I get 360 over 23 and 120 over 23. So 360 over 23 and 120 over 23, which if you think about approximately, that's, I don't know, something like 17 and this one's something like 5 or 6. So around 16, 17 and that one's 5 seems right. And the last one we can do, press equals again, and we want 1, negative 3 and 0. So they're fine. And we want 3, 1, and 12. And 18 over 5 and 6 over 5. So we get 18 over 5, which is about over 3, and 6 over 5, which is over 1 for D. That, so that's 3, 1. That looks about right. So that was a quick way of using the calculator to find those points. Now, in an exam, do obviously use simultaneous equations, but use the calculator to check you got them right. Look how straightforward that is, and it really helps make sure you don't make any mistakes in the exam. So I hope you found that really useful. Thanks for watching.